Yo, welcome back. Check out that deck right there. It's P.E.K.K.A. It is P.E.K.K.A. time with the Evil Bomber. This is the best P.E.K.K.A. variation in the game right now. Without a doubt in my mind, actually, you know. It has the Evil Bomber and the Evo Zap as their Evos. Uh, you know, Evil Battle Ram is kind of like, it's a little... I don't really know how to explain it, man. It's good, but like at the same time, not really... Uh, it's like the same thing, bro. Like, if you're playing against cycle decks and whatnot, it's gonna get countered just the exact same way. And also, there's a ton of bowler going around. There's also a ton of little prints still. So those reset it just as easily. So, yeah, in my opinion, guys, if you want to play P.E.K.K.A., use the Evo Zap and the Evil Bomber. That is your best bet for sure. If you don't have Evil Bomber, then, you know, used Evil Battle Ram. I'm sure a lot of you guys do have Evil Battle Ram unlocked anyway, because this is mainly like a P.E.K.K.A. channel for the most part, so I'm kind of just assuming, honestly. But, you know, playing against this guy right here, Bidzo, and, you know, Bidzo, um, I feel like, you know, I've played against him a lot in the past. By the way, this is like top ladder, so these guys should be pretty familiar for the most part, and really bad guards on his end, not gonna lie to you. He's gonna go for a log as well. Plus a hard rider, this guy is going absolutely crazy on the push. But, uh, you know, we are vibing, alright? We are vibing. Also, you know, the arrows. I don't think I've talked about the arrows yet. But, uh, you know, if you guys want, arrows are the best for P.E.K.K.A. at the moment. Um, it is not the best entirely, but just for this specific meta, arrows is the best, alright? For all, like, the firecrackers, the evil bombers and whatnot, um, it's just really good. Um, and yeah, so this guy's going for like a hog thinking emo. I don't really understand why because this guy's about to get the whooping. All right, he's about to get the whooping. I'm gonna go for some arrows right there on the firecracker. And um, he goes for a mighty miner. Totally fine here. Okay, I think he tried to predict the evil bomber at the bridge. So good thing I didn't play that. And yeah, so I'm gonna go for a bandit in the back. Just kind of like playing a little defense and trying to convert it into offense. Okay, he goes for an evil firecracker right there. That's a pretty nice like um, play you can do. Try to play the P.E.K.K.A. off to the side like that. So yeah. Um, He goes for a firecracker again. I could just go for some arrows, you know, just simply go for some arrows right there. He still needs to respond to that P.E.K.K.A. He goes for a hog rider. I could just go for my ghost. He still needs to respond to it. I'm gonna go for a battle ram right here plus a little prince. And just completely spam this guy. Go for Evil Bomber at the bridge. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pop this little Prince ability. Uh, I think I caught him with his pants low right here. Because he's kind of... Uh, he can't really do anything. But he actually does get the Mighty Miner off. So that's kind of unfortunate. You know, I thought that Guardian would connect for some good damage. He does get the good game. So, um, you know, I like to see that, I guess. You know, kind of dwindling his confidence. I'm going to go for some arrows right here. Plus a Bomber. And I'm going to go for an Evo Zap, because why not? You know, Evo Zap for the guards. Pretty safe, honestly. Oh, uh, let's see here. So, I'm going to go for a Battle Ramp, because his Dagger Duchess has, like, no ammo right now. So, it's going to be a little difficult for him to take care of it. I'm going to go for a Royal Ghost, just to basically keep his Dagger Duchess low. Oh, uh, let's see. He goes for the ability. Oh my gosh, my Bomber got so much damage right there. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna go for a banner right here because I think it's like a really awkward cycle. He goes for an ice spirit. Plus a log. I'll go for a battle ram in the back here. Just kind of like play defense. There's no reason. Oh. Uh that should be good to go. Look at that, bro. Oh my gosh. This guy can't touch me right now, dude. I'm gonna go for a little prince in the back. Uh I'll go for a battle ram. Just kind of like I said, playing a little passively, just cycling things in the back, taking my time. Um, I'll go for a P.E.K.K.A. Perfect. Perfect prediction, bro, honestly. How does he defend this? Like, how does... He, oh my gosh. How does he legitimately defend this? Yeah, like, this guy's done for. This guy's actually done for. Perfect. Let's go ahead and jump for the next match. Here's the next match. And I got a pretty good hand, not gonna lie to you. I'm gonna go for a Bomber in the back. So, let's see here. He goes for a Giants in the back. I like to see that because I got P.E.K.K.A. in hand. So thankfully he did not starting hand me. So this is a pretty solid start for me for sure. Let's see what he wants to do here. 
Okay, his dagger duchess does look at my um, bomber. He goes for a little prince at the bridge, which is a smart play to DPS down my P.E.K.K.A. as quick as possible. I'm going to go for Royal Ghost in the bag. Okay, this is Giant Graveyard, so this is pretty, like, it's a pretty good matchup, not going to lie to you. It's definitely a pretty good matchup for sure. Um, It's only, like, a bad matchup if they have, like, Barbarians as well with the Bowler. Like, if they have Barbarians and Bowler, but if they have, like, one or the other, it's typically, like, a pretty easy win for the most part. So, yeah. I'm getting a ton of damage right there anyway. And I don't need to worry about that Bowler because my Dagger Duchess will completely destroy it, so just like that. And yeah, dude. I think right here I can just go for a Bomber in the back. See what he wants to do here. I'm going to go for a Ghost, maybe to force out the Bowler. And if he does go Bowler, I could just spam him like crazy opposite lane. Okay. This should basically be GG's. I don't see how he defends this. I'm like, not going to lie to you guys. He has like no elixir at all. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this little prince ability, and his dagger duchess has like no ammo. I'm gonna go for a zap for the bats, and just like that, voila, that is a pretty much a beautiful tower down, right? Like Perfect! Just like that. That's all you gotta do, guys. That's literally all you gotta do. Just bait the bowler out, just spam on opposite lane in this matchup, and you basically win. So, um, yeah. Let's see. Just basically play some defense for the rest of the match. And I should be good to go. So only, you know, like only a minute and two seconds left on the clock. I'm going to go for a bandit in the back. See what he wants to do. He goes for a giant. I'm going to go for a ghost plus a little prince. I'm going to go for an evo zap plus my little prince ability. And that should be a pretty decent defense. I'll go for a bomber just in case like any shenanigans happens right there. And yeah, there we go. So let's see here. I'll go for a bandit in the back. See what he wants to do to this bandit. He goes bowler. So you know what that means. Spam him opposite lane here. And yeah. So he goes for a little prince. Plus the ability. Plus the uh, um bats. So he really shouldn't have that much elixir. Like he could only make one push left before the game ends. So yeah. I'm going to go for a bomber in the back. Just to set up some defense. I'm going to go for a P.E.K.K.A. for the uh, giants. I'm going to go for a royal ghost. He's going to go for arrows, but I could go for my set of arrows. And yeah, so that's a really nice win yet again. So let's go ahead and jump for the next match. Here is the next match against Icebo 1-1-2. You know, I kind of know this guy actually. So uh, hopefully I can pick up a win against him, you know? Like I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling confident in my gameplay right now. Like I'm not going to lie to you guys. I am playing some prime P.E.K.K.A. dude. I am playing some prime time P.E.K.K.A. dude. Like, I don't know what's gotten into me today, but bro, I am final. Like, I am absolutely final today. So, um, if you guys want to know how to play a lot of matchups, bro, th this video is for you. Because I am playing, like, out of my mind these past few matches. So, like, just predicting that bomber at the bridge, bro. Like, pretty typical plays by these guys. Like, I'm not going to lie to you. Pretty typical. So, um, goes from East Spirit. Totally fine. I think I could go for a P.E.K.K.A. in the back because I think I have a decent Elixir advantage. Okay, he actually goes for an Expo. I'm going to let that Expo connect and then go for my Evil Bomber. It's extremely important for that to happen. You do not want the Expo to connect to the Bomber. You have to let the Expo connect to the Tower. Um, it's just simply the play, you know. So, let's see. He has no ammo left on his Dagger Duchess. And I think right here I can just go for a Battle Ram, hopefully. This battle ram should get a pretty nice connection. I feel like it's going to be pretty difficult for him to defend because he has like no ammo left on his dagger. So there we go. That's a really nice connection. And he goes for a knight. Totally fine. I really wish I had evil bomber in hand, bro. I would absolutely destroy it right now. I would go absolutely crazy. So um, it is what it is, though. You know, not the end of the world. I have a pretty good damage lead. So I'll definitely take that nonetheless. And yeah, so... I think right here I could just go for a bomber in the back. You know, just kind of play a little passively, see what he wants to do. And yeah, I'll go for a bandit right here. He goes for a Tesla, totally fine. And okay, my bandit does get a connection on the uh, Tesla, which is always pretty nice. He goes for a Expo, pretty interesting Expo, not gonna lie to you. Like, I don't really know what that gets him, but I'll take it. You know, it makes my job a little easier. So yeah, I'll go for a Battle Ram right here. And I'll go for a little prince i'll go for a zap right there he goes for a pretty nice tesla not gonna lie to you that's going to stop some of my push right here and uh okay at least it goes down so i don't have to worry about that for the moment 
Um, let's see. I'll go for a ghost. And I think I'm just going to keep pressuring this guy because um, his dagger dashes is pretty low. So I'm going to take advantage of that for sure. I'm going to go for a bandit right here. And yeah, so he goes for a evil bomber. Totally fine. Okay, my bandit does... Oh my gosh, bandit. You're going crazy, dude. Um, Or not a dude, but <laughs> yeah. You're going crazy, all right? I'll go for a packer right here because I have a pretty big elixir advantage. He goes for a rocket, you know... Pretty typical play, not gonna lie to you. Like, I think that is the play to make. But actually, I don't even know, to be honest. <laughs> so, um, I'm gonna go for Royal Ghost right here. And um, I'm gonna go for a Little Prince plus some arrows. Dude, I'm not gonna lie to you. Arrows does such a good job against, like, this kind of deck because of the bomber and the skeletons and stuff like that. The Bandit does make a connection. The Bandit makes a connection right there. Oh my gosh. Bandit is going absolutely crazy this match, but that should actually be a game, so. Let's go ahead and jump for the next one. Here is the next match. And let's see here. So, um, I think right here I could probably just... Oh, okay. He's going for a knight first. So, I'll respond to his knight with my little prince. Alright, he's going to get the little sleeping pig emote. I'll go for a royal ghost opposite lane. He goes for a little prince himself. Totally fine. I'm going to go ahead and pop this little prince ability just to protect mine. And yeah, so, um, let's see. Okay, he goes for bats, totally fine. I don't really know exactly what this could be. I'm kind of thinking like a minor wall breakers deck, potentially. Um, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Oh, he's got zap, though. Like, I feel like this could still be it, because evil zap is kind of seen everywhere, not gonna lie to you. He's going for a knight. I'm just gonna go for a bomber high, just to, like, DPS it down as quick as I can. He's got guards, so that's a little annoying, but... Check this out, like, I feel like he has a really awkward cycle, so I'm going to take advantage of that. So I'm going to go for a Ghost, I'm going to go for a little P right at the bridge, and I'm going to go for a little P ability, plus a Zap, and he should basically take a ton of damage here. My Bomber is locked onto his little Prince, which is super nice for me. And, um, okay, he has to go for a Zap as well, but that is a ton of damage, just like I was saying, because he had a really awkward cycle by cycling, like, his Knight and his Guards which are both basically like his best answer, so I was definitely going to punish that for sure. He's going to give the good luck. I don't really know why he's saying good luck, to be honest, when I kind of just outplayed him. Um, it was kind of his fault, honestly, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> so I'll go for a Battle Ram right here. Okay, that's actually pretty good guards on his end, not going to lie to you. Okay, he goes for a Mortar. I could just go for a Bomber right here just to take care of that Mortar and not let it get a connection on top of my tower. And yeah, I feel like as long as I play... Pretty good defense for the rest of this match. I should come out on top, but anything can happen. So I just got to be pretty careful and like not get too over aggressive. And he makes like a good defense where I get punished afterwards. Because like if I get really aggressive and he defends and he potentially goes for like an evil mortar, I can just like lose the game to be honest. So I just got to be careful. I'm going to go for a little prince right here. And yeah, so let's see what he wants to do. He goes for uh, guards. I could just go for some arrows right there on top of everything. Get some really good value. I'm going to go for a Royal Ghost as well. So yeah. He goes for a Knight. Um, at least my Ghost is taking care of that pretty nicely. I'll go for a Bomber just for some cycle. I'm going to go for a Battle Ram in the back. Okay, he goes for an Evil Mortar. I could just go for my P.E.K.K.A. I think it's a pretty good play. And I definitely think I'm going to Evolve Zap this, you know, these Guards and that Mortar. So yeah. Okay, he goes for some Bats. I'll go for a Royal Ghost. Okay, I'll go for my Evil Bomber. I'll go for a Battle Ram as well. I'll go for a Bandit as well. I'm gonna go for my Little Prince High to take care of his, or to take care of his Little Prince. I'm gonna go for a Zap. I don't know if I needed that Zap to be honest, but um, it is what it is. All right, he goes for a Knight. You know, okay, he goes for another Mortar. I'm gonna go for a Pekka right here, plus a Bomber. I should be good to go. Alright. Oh, gosh. <laughs> That's... Okay. Hold on, this guy. He's getting a little too aggressive now. A little too aggressive for my liking, bro. I'm gonna go for a zap. Um, yeah, this guy's just spamming me now. He is just, like, spamming me like crazy. Okay, my bomber is actually coming in clutch, though. Oh, my gosh, bro. He just absolutely wrecked him. I'm going to go for a Ghost right here. I'm going to go for a Bandit plus a, a little P for the uh, Mortar. 
and I'm going to pop the ability. I'm going to go for a zap as well, and that should be a pretty gone mortar. So, I think right here, okay, he goes for guards. I'm just going to go for a bomber. I'm going to go for a ghost as well. I'm going to go for a P.E.K.K.A. just to, like, absorb some damage. Kind of distract it a little bit. I'm going to go for a zap as well, and that should be pretty good. I'll go for a little prince. I'm going to go for arrows for the minion horde. I think that's, like, the first time he's played it. But, you know, it helps me out. So, yeah. I'm going to go for a battle ram plus a bandit. I feel like this guy's kind of screwed here, dude. Like, look at the counter push I have. So, um, yeah, how does he actually defend this? <laughs> I'm going to go for a ghost right here. My P.E.K.K.A. does get one shot. My P.E.K.K.A. gets two shots for the W. Oh my gosh, bro. That is some prime time P.E.K.K.A. gameplay, dude. Like, I actually played out of my mind all these matches, dude. I'm not going to lie to you. So, um, let's go ahead and check it out. 2149, you know, medals. And let's go check it out. 361 in the world. So, that is very nice. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll do more videos next time.